So Drake hosted uh, his second show at the Amaranth Bank Arena in Sunrise, Florida. It was supposed to be a happy time as he re- uh, reunited with Lil Wayne for select shows while J. Cole is elsewhere. However, fans cited that he rapped certain bars on energy and nonstop with more passion than usual. Finally, he cut the music and expressed himself in one of the many passionate speeches he's made during uh, shows on this tour. A yeah. lot of people asking me how I'm feeling. He said before telling fans he wants them to feel how he felt at the time. I got my head up high, my back straight. I'm 10 fucking toes down in Florida or anywhere else Mm -hmm. I go. And I know no matter what, what, there's not a nigga on this earth that could ever fuck with me in my life. Uh, Let's check out the clip. Okay. My phone's going crazy. (laughs) I'm going to let you know how I'm feeling. Listen. The way I'm feeling is the same way I want you to walk out of here feeling and not about your fucking self. Cause you know how I'm feeling? I got my fucking head up high, my back straight, I'm ten fucking toes down in Florida, anywhere else I go, and I know that no matter what, it's not a nigga on this earth that can ever fuck with me in my life. And that's how I want you to walk out of here tonight. But in order to, you know, get yourself all gassed up, riled up, and move towards the future, sometimes, sometimes you gotta acknowledge the mistakes that you made in the past, right? 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 So this is what I want you to do. Everybody in here. A lot of people ask me oh, yeah. how I'm feeling. Okay. Um, I'm let you-, you guys on the news on Friday after the record had dropped? No, I wasn't there. You wasn't here? You was here, Sharp? Think so, yeah. Okay, what was your take on the um, on the record, on the Kendrick record? Because this is clearly a response to the Kendrick record. Oh, I seen the lyrics. Um, I mean, I thought Kendrick, I thought the shit was hard. Yeah, I thought it was lit. I thought it was dope, if you ask yeah. me. The Prince Mike Jack bar was fire. I feel that like that's a perfect analogy. Uh, Drake is Michael Jackson, the king of pop. And then uh, Kendrick is Prince, the ultimate that's musician. That's back comparison, though. No. That's a great analogy. And he's not the ultimate, ultimate musician. He don't as make far, his beats. For, he don't produce. He's okay, just a no, rapper. Rap okay, he's the ultimate lyricist. So let's let's say because they were R and B or pop stars, so they had but musicianship. Drake is a better let's, lyricist than Kendrick. Drake is not a better, better lyricist than Kendrick. If you, have you heard Drake, thirty for thirty, and what's the road flows? Drake, that's your opinion. I feel you. Yeah. What's the road flows is one of my favorite Drake records. If yeah, you put, mm-hmm. and I like Drake's music better, of course. the same way I like Michael Jackson's music better. Okay, but as terms of talent, Prince yeah. was more talented, and in terms of rapping, Kendrick can rap better. If you put Kendrick and Drake in this very room okay. and cut on a beat and say rap, yeah, who's gonna have the better sixteen? Drake. I'm gonna say Kendrick. So what say you guys? What say you guys? So oh, okay, wait, the, who's more talented? I just, just said overall. I think Kendrick Lamar is more talented. I think Drake. I, lyricist, I think Drake right. makes better music. Just sure. the same way I think Michael Jackson made better music, but okay. Prince was way sure. more talented. Drake than Michael raps, Jackson. sing, writes. Drake, again, Drake raps, sings, write, and produces and make beats. Mm-hmm. So, like, who's the real true artist? Right, It's Drake. Right, right. For me, right. So you got Drake is. Uh, you saying Drake is Prince? Drake is Prince and MJ, and that's why he's great, right? No, no, no. He's a true artist with the hits. Prince, Prince never sampled. Prince never sampled. So that in this term, in rapping words, it would be like never having a ghostwriter. You get what I'm saying? Prince was an ultimate musician. So I, I wouldn't say that. But Kendrick Drake has ghostwriters. Prince Tyler, right, right, because he sampled it. You feel me, right? No, it's not about sample. I'm using the analogy. We're sure. going to use the analogy from sample to ghostwriter. So look at this. Right? So look yeah. at this. So it's because I've seen Drake mm-hmm. when he says, yo, I'm going to be... A, a lyricist, mm-hmm. because I've seen Drake reach, reach peaks yeah. of of lyricism that I haven't seen Kendrick reach. I've never seen Kendrick outdo Western Roll Flows. Mm-hmm. It's just a straight up just bars and spitting. He's never done. That's it. not even Drake's most lyrical song. I love that song with, yeah. the, with the Mary Joint sample from My Life yeah, album. Course. Great, great. Love the Views album. Or, or Five Am in Toronto. Fire. I've never seen Kendrick and I'll do that before. Kendrick's done control. Kendrick has those type of verses on even on section 80 or overly um dedicated and all those projects. Look, Kendrick has displays of godly lyricism. Again, of course. I'm not the biggest Kendrick fan no, in the world. It, it, but we, we can no hard on. Yeah, I'm not the biggest, but I can acknowledge is, the talent. Dope, sure. So before we end it, do you sure. think Kendrick is a better lyricist than Drake? And I'm not even saying it's about a landslide. I'm just saying it's okay. Me no, but it's a, no, no. He's not a better lyricist than Drake. No. What about you, Josh? 
Come on, like it's not Josh. Josh, you Come know, on, it's not Josh, close don't play. even fucking play this. Game, <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> like you know better. Like we, we like, all, you know, Kendrick. Like, like, like we all ain't do. even close. So, so you think when Drake drops his response record, it'll be better than Kendrick's verse? Yo, I feel, and I feel like it's gonna it's gonna have way it's, it's gonna over. hit back way harder. It's okay. going to hit no, way it's harder. It's over for... Uh, uh, bro, it's over for Kendrick Yo, Lamar. understand, people... Pe like, you be on Drake. Uh, understand this, right? Sack, bro. No. It's beyond Drake. You diss J. Cole as well. Meaning this, right? Uh, it's, right? It's over with. I fuck with right? Cole too. Fuck with Cole too. It's baseball terms, right? Uh -huh. You got the cleanup coming, right? Drake... <laughs> Drake is... Listen, Drake is, the, is what? The designated hater. He's the... Hey, he's the cleanup. So again, yeah. so call finna massacre yeah. you. Uh, listen, sure, I, right? Call finna, call finna body bag you. Uh, and now Drake, who's the most strategic nigga we done ever seen in this game, uh, is about to come and clean you up. I'm not it's from this video. From the video that we just watched, he seems a bit emotional. He seems a bit what. Timmy. Agitated about yeah, the Yeah, bothered. Seemed hurt. Yeah. And the last time he was I agitated, did this. he seems hurt. Was with me. And what happened to me? From 200,000 copies first week Kendrick, at the peak of the Kendrick game, you were top five rapper and, and Keep, you caught Kendrick it. Kendrick ain't no meek. And I'm not, and what, I'm not, what I'm not going to do is this. Yeah, I'm not going to let you sit up here and say LA rap is over. A no, 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 no. Let no, me no, finish. No. Okay. A couple months ago sure. and say LA rap is over. And then now you're in here talking about Kendrick Lamar like he's just some nobody ass nigga. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, to be fair though, Josh. Like he has from a day one, Josh. He has a Pulitzer. Sure, but Josh, to be fair, from day one, right. I've had the same stance on Kendrick, right? Mm -hmm. No, that's 100%, especially when Kendrick dropped last year. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been saying he's been ago. super right? consistent on that. Uh -huh. You made us wait four years five for- Five years for album. Five years for an uh, album that, that, that flopped, right? So I'm not going to say it flopped because it won, uh, was one of the best-selling rap but, albums of the year, sure, won a Grammy for best it, rap it was a album. Bad album. It was mid. I th I'm not gonna say the album was bad. I feel like the album was mid. It's it's one of his least uh, best works of art. Yeah, sure. And guess what? Though? There's Bodies no of proof. work. Excuse me. Listen, but... and there's no proof mm -hmm. in the last five years that Kendrick still knows how to make good music. The heart part five. It's a stolen concept, like with like mid lyrics. Uh -huh. Listen, right. So look. So and here's what what like uh -huh. and he does every time, right? Is he and I like that song that not to cut you up. I like yeah. that song that he previewed at the Chanel fashion show when he designed the set and they walked out to his song. Okay. I like that song. Whenever it drops, it's, it's sure. Yeah. Set and everything looked dope. Yeah, Looks so like he's still hard. a creative visionary. You feel yeah, me? That was hard. Designing mm -hmm. sets for Chanel in the Paris fashion show and stuff like that. He still has a presence. His tour was the uh, best selling tour of the year. It dropped twenty twenty two. Yeah. Uh, like I said, won a won a Grammy for best rap album. So sure. it's not like, and that wasn't like five, ten years ago. This was like two years ago. You get what I'm saying? So if, I, if I win best rap album yeah. at the Grammys two years ago, you can't tell me that my career is over. Macklemore won a Grammy, and we all admit, nigga, you didn't deserve it. So I'm so saying you this, put right? in Mac, the, Mac, you put in Macklemore <laughs> in a conversation as Kendrick Lamar, the person that won a Grammy over Kendrick one year when he clearly didn't deserve it. If we all here just agreed that. Uh -huh. You know that Mr. Morale was, was a, mid. Was a mid album. That doesn't mean it can't be the best rap album because all the albums that year could have been super, super mid or worse. How would it was it, mid? Yeah. What? What are you talking about? If if an album is mid, but all the mid. other albums released are midder. How? You award the best one, or do you say no? You are gonna cancel the rap Kendrick album worse. category? Mona Park Nobody's gonna was, win. Was worse than Kendrick's? Uh, Vince Staples. Yeah. He he doesn't. He lacks energy sometimes. <laughs> yes. Vince like, and I love that album. That love was a that perfect album. album. Perfect. It was a perfect album. No, it's not perfect. Her loss was worse than... <laughs> Her loss was the year. was not the same year as no, Mr. Morale. No, 2023. 2022. How? Kendrick dropped uh, Kendrick got nominated in 2019, right? 2017. You sure Damn dropped in 2017? Damn dropped in 2017. Get off that goddamn computer. Yeah, Damn dropped in... <laughs> <real work. laughs> you look like a court stenographer, nigga. Yeah. True. <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a, a five yeah. years, right? No, but though, right? So uh, look, no, but yeah, we getting off on tangents. Yeah, yeah right? right. But but here's what I truly feel, bro. Now, just like he did, like with the heart, like part five, right? Yeah, which was a dope record. Yeah, is he transplant like these powerful messages uh -huh. and into subpar music to make us forget about how subpar the music is, right? Like. For example, you have a he showed Nipsey, yeah. uh, he showed people who Kanye we hear, West, Kobe, uh, Kaepernick, right? Is he showed people who we mm -hmm. have an affinity for and we care about and who tugs mm -hmm. who tugs at the heartstrings of us right. to make us forget about the song being piss poor. Now, two, 
Now, that's, that's your theory? Sure. Okay. Right. That's your theory. So look then. You don't know that for fact. Sure, sure. Right? right. Uh-huh. But look, Mr. Morale yeah. was a subpar, was a mid-album that, that they didn't really like for me. You know, we're like the, stick, right? We're in agreement. We're not sure. 100% agreeing. Sure. But guess what though? Mm-hmm. Once his team realized, oh, it's not sticking, and they leaked his unreleased control verse where he was was like, this is mad niggas. Mm-hmm. That didn't stick either. We stopped talking about it. After a couple of days. Shit came and went. Right? So mm-hmm. now he came back with this now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A feature. To make us forget about that subpar shit. Why? Because again, because he knows that as of lately, mm-hmm. we don't care about Kendrick if he's not linked to our faves. So you, you're you using this theory. That's your conspiracy. Yeah. It's possible that he could have just got asked to do a feature and win the booth, and that's how he was feeling that day. No, and no, that's no. the verse he gave on the Like no, no, That no, no, record, no, no, and he no, snaps. No, no, no. You no. say that this was some super strategic yeah. chess move, conspired over years and years. Was, went though, right? Uh, Listen, but the entire album came about when, like, once Drake's and told Metro, mm-hmm. bro, what you gonna do about it? Uh-huh. Future and Metro said, oh, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do about it. Let's make an album. That's like the opposite of your mm. album that like plays on your albums like mm. um like a track list. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna also bring your top op. Right. The one nigga who we know can, you know, can like go with you, right? Mm-hmm. And have him diss you. But this was all planned out and strategic. No, but this is my thing, and we can finish this conversation yeah. here we go again later at 6 p.m. But a couple weeks ago, or if not the last episode, I told you that Future had it out for Drake and that Future and Drake had a beef coming. He was like, no, they good friends. They just down the third. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. You guys, yeah. they're not you and Suspect denied it. When I told you that Future yeah. was, was uh, coming, as soon as I saw that course. they was performing that Rolling Loud together and mm-hmm. that XYZ was going on, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. Future and it, Drake it, are beef. No, but then, but, then, but, then, but then I found out some new information. You mm-hmm. feel me? Right? Now, I think... think so people are saying it's over a girl. I kind of believe it, but... That's normally how it starts with rappers. It always starts over. I can name but 10 yeah. rap beefs over a female. But Nori said, though, that it's over because Drake dropped... Trash. Drake dropped the joint album with, with like, 21, 21 Savage. I know Future and 21 don't uh, fuck with each other for whatever reason. Well, they kind of do, right? Eh, right? Or, yeah, right? It seems to be some type of... You beef there, right? Feel yeah, me? yeah. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. And Future felt, felt like sliding. Right. Right? So, you know.